years ago, there was a widespread belief that technology could solve all our problems. These days, we know it's a lot more complicated. But every time I come out here to San Francisco, I feel a newfound sense of optimism. Take drug pricing. We spend a fortune on medication in America, more per capita than any other country. And while high drug prices are often justified, sometimes they're downright predatory. The problem, there's no transparency in our healthcare system. Very easy to get ripped off and all the prices of anything. Which brings me to GoodRx, the privately held company with an incredible app that lets you comparison shop for prescription drugs. These guys are number six on CNBC's annual Disruptor 50 list of revolutionary startups. GoodRx has a fabulous database of pricing information across various pharmacies, while it allows their average customer get this to save $276 a year on prescriptions. I use it. I save a lot more than that. Turns out some drugstores charge a lot more than others in the same darn area. Best of all, the service, totally free. You don't even need to set up an account. They make their money via advertisements and referral fees. They don't know, they don't share your private information. By the way, it's not just for humans. These guys can help you save money on drugs for your pets, too. And, you know, there's often no insurance for pets. I think this company is a potential game changer. So let's take a closer look with Doug Hirsch. He's the co-founder and co-CEO of GoodRx. To learn more about his company and what it means for the pharmacy business, Mr. Hirsch, welcome to Mad Money. Doug, I have to tell you, as a user of your product, I'm going to jump right in. I didn't think it was possible. I mean, I sound like one of those infomercials. I did not think it was possible to cut a prescription cost by four-fifths but you did it. Just tell me the journey of how you got to this point and how you can possibly get these breaks. It's amazing. <laughs> Most Americans don't realize that they can shop around for healthcare. We assume that we walk up to the pharmacy counter and the person in the white coat types something up in a computer and the price you get is the price you get. <laughs> but the yes. reality is, is healthcare is like any other industry. There's all sorts of room for people to save if they know where to go. But how'd you find out? We, I didn't know. I walked into a pharmacy and got sticker shock and took my prescription back and went to a few other pharmacies and realized there was a big price difference and there were all these amazing ways for consumers to save. Okay, I found out about you and many others did this New York Times article. I had mentioned yours. I clicked on the link. Uh, and, and it's a coupon system. Explain why anyone has to take these coupons and how you really do beat. You really beat the system with this. So first of all, insurance is not what it used to be, right? <laughs> I can remember the days of the $10 copay and I yeah. didn't have to worry about it. And insurance, as you know, is covering less and less and deductibles right. are going up and people could pay thousands of dollars for a drug. Well, it turns out what we call coupons are really relationships between insurance companies, we call them PBMs, right. and pharmacies, which allow a consumer who doesn't have insurance, who isn't using insurance, to get a discounted price. And what GoodRx did is we brought all of them together. We have literally billions of prices in our database and put them all together and said, what's the best option? It might be your insurance, but it might not. You know, why would CVS or Walgreens bother? Why don't they just tell Duggars, we're not the least bit interested in your plan and we're not going to help you? You know, we have a great relationship with both CVS and Walgreens because they actually want consumers to get an affordable price for their drug. You know, when you walk into a CVS and they say it's going to be $2,000, they don't want it to be $2,000, and they know that most Americans can't afford that, but because of the complicated nature of our system, they can't just discount it on their own. They need to work with insurance companies, need to work with people like us to come up with a price so that they can, again, provide an affordable price to a consumer and at the same time be able to make some money. But you're not Robin Hood. How do you make money? So we work with uh, all the major pharmacies. We make money a few different ways. We have a subscription product called GoodRx Gold, which allows people to get even lower prices. And we also make some referral fees, and we have some advertising at various places on the site. But we always start from the premise of whatever's best for the consumer is what we're going to show them first. Okay, so when we hear about runaway healthcare costs and runaway drug costs, aren't you kind of the answer to that? I'd like to be for all of healthcare, not just prescriptions. Um, really, because we don't know how any, how, what anything costs. I know. I mean, that's the craziest thing. Imagine any other industry. Imagine you, you know, were trying to buy a TV, and we said we don't know what it costs. Find out the counter. But I'm not saying you need a new knee. Could you help me? We are working on that. Are you it's really? hard. It's hard. You know, one of the great things about prescriptions is you buy them in a retail environment, right? right? You know what it's called, kind of, and you don't really worry about it if you have to go from pharmacy to pharmacy. It gets a little harder when someone's putting a knife in your knee. So True. you want to make sure it's someone that's good. How many uh, people do you think know about GoodRx now versus your goal, say, a year or two from now? About 10 million people use GoodRx every it's month. Bad. Yeah, about half of U.S. doctors actually recommend us because they want their patients to take the meds they prescribe. Uh, but we have a ways to go. We think we impact about 1% to 2% of U.S. prescriptions. Wow. So we got a long way to go to help all Americans. I don't think people realize how many, uh, let's say, people you're keeping from bankruptcy. Yeah. It is the single most uh, uh, it's salient reason why people go bankrupt. Yeah. 
That's true. I mean, most American, the average American has less than $400 in savings, and the average deductible now is over $1,500. So that means most Americans will literally go bankrupt before they can actually afford to get coverage from their insurance. So we're in this crazy situation where people just don't take their drugs. And of course, that leads to bigger problems when Americans actually can't afford their drugs, don't take them, and then they end up in the hospital. All right. Now, uh, I'm looking at you, I'm listening to what you're doing, and I'm saying, I know Doug Hurst working at Yahoo 23 years ago when you and I worked together. Give me the journey to you to realize, because this company's now backed by Silver Lake. It's number six on our list. It is a way to be able to change the healthcare system. How did you, you go from dot com to this? I've always been attracted to messy problems that we can solve somehow. You know, in Yahoo's case, they were organizing the internet. In Facebook's case, where I work, we were trying to organize social relationships. And then I just looked around and said, wow, this is amazing. When I searched Google for drug prices, nothing showed up. And I thought, wow, that's really messy. Maybe I can clean that up somehow. <laughs> no, is there anyone out there to stop you? Does someone want to try to stop you? I mean, you know, some of these drug companies, don't they make less money? We, uh, to be honest, we get along great with both drug companies and farms. I know it sounds crazy. Did you broker these deals? We always <laughs> think that there's boogeymen. There's someone out there trying to hurt us. Yeah, I mean, everyone wants to communicate with patients. Everyone wants to be able to uh, tell them about their information, and we are that place now. You know, people come to us, 10 million people a month, and we work to react. Anyone who can help us lower drug prices, we'll work with. Um, do you work with Teladoc? Do you work with these other systems that we think are also saving the, saving the money for the entire healthcare uh, universe? We do. We've recently started to list online telemedicine options as well so that you can get a prescription via GoodRx as well. Uh, and so we're working with a number of different providers. Uh, anywhere, anyone across the health ecosystem that can help Americans save, we'll put it on GoodRx. Well, i got to congratulate you. I, as, again, as someone who uses it, you saved me. I don't even want to reveal how much, but, it's a, but you, I, I know that the more people I talk to, they're all doing the same thing. And I'm so glad you came on the show because I want everyone to use your service because it's the best way to beat the system and the best way to be able to make it so you're still solvent because so many drugs wipe out so many people. Doug Hurst, co-founder and co-CEO, GoodRx, number six on CNBC's Disruptor List. And you know what? We ask people about their purpose at the end of it in interviews. How about the whole purpose, which is to save people money? Thank you. Yeah, Jim Cramer here from Mad Money. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube. Click here to subscribe and get the jump on my exclusives with CEOs, plus market news, investing advice, and a whole lot more.